Okay, I was like, did you start counting again? <laughs> hey everyone, it's Raquel here at the State of Entrepreneurship, and I'm standing with Jorge Varela from Cowtown Angels in Tech Fort Worth. How are you? Just great, happy to be here. So talk with us a little bit about what's going on in Fort Worth over at Tech Fort Worth and Cowtown Angels. Well, um, first of all, 2015 has been like a great year for us. Uh, you know, we had uh, ZS Pharma from Tech Fort Worth had, I'm going to wear multiple hats here. We had ZS Pharma had a, a, well, in the process of going through a big exit with AstraZeneca. So that's kind of exciting. But, you know, we've had a number of other exits this year, which uh, most people don't want to hear about. They're trying to keep it quiet. But uh, We love hearing about exits. What are you talking about? Yeah, but then people bug them. And then next thing you know, they're joining places like Caltown Angels, right? Because now they're accredited investors because they've succeeded. Uh, so we, we try not to, uh, we respect our company's, uh, 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 you know, desire to be more more private about their, their successes. But we've had a number of good exits. We've had, uh, this year has been great for the uh, Tech Forward client companies. Uh, most of them have gotten funding that they needed. Um, most of the funding actually found them. They didn't actually have to uh, pitch to any angel group, which is something that we were very proud of at Tech Forward. We feel that uh, if you build a good company, if you're out there generating sales, then really what's going to happen is the money's going to find you. And uh, a lot of our client companies have, have had that happen in 2015. We expect that that's going to happen again in 2016. Uh, you know, at, at Tech Fort Worth, we tend to be a little bit more uh, progressive in, in the way we think. We try to look at, at, the, uh, at the needs of the entrepreneurs out there, being entrepreneurs ourselves. Uh, and, and we look at it and say, well, what, what, what's the next barriers? What's stopping us? You know, that's what helped us. Uh, when we helped fund uh, uh, North Texas Angels and, and Caltown Angels, that's what we were trying to do. How do we find the next good thing before everyone else uh, goes out and tries to do it? You know, so that's that's, that's what's going on at Tech Forward. Now let me flip the hat to the other side. Caltown Angels had a great year. I think we invested in. Uh, Oh boy, I don't remember the total number uh, for, for uh, 2015. But overall, we've invested in 18 companies, somewhere a little over 14 million dollars. Uh, about uh, uh, this year, I think we had a number of follow-on rounds. Uh, total raise for those uh, those companies has been pretty close to 50 million dollars. So, uh, if you ask me what's going on around here, there's a lot of good things. Uh, I think I think for now, uh, you know, deals are uh, as usual tough to find good deals, right? Uh, we're here to make money, not just to give away money. And that's one of the things that. That people don't realize angel investors have to have an exit long answer but there you go multiple answers no that's phenomenal and, and something that i wanted to to get your thoughts on as well i mean there's been a ton of activity happening over the last couple of years obviously across north texas a lot in dallas a lot in denton a lot in fort worth as well so talk a little bit about what's kind of happening in in the fort worth neighborhood side of the of the metroplex so it's not just dallas proper and it's not just denton or whatever there's a lot of stuff that's happening over on the other side as well. So talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, we don't, uh, at Tech Fort Worth and Caltown Angels, we, we tend to think more regionally than, uh, you know, Fort Worth's in our name because that's where our main office is. Um, and we were founded uh, initially by a, a, a public-private partnership with the city of Fort Worth. But the city of Fort Worth uh, is not a big participant in what we do. We are a separate organization completely. But we look we look regionally, so I, I'd rather speak regionally about it. Um, I, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, I'm an old uh, Silicon Valley guy, you know, I did my... Uh, second through about eight company in Silicon Valley. And so, you know, what I'm seeing here, and that was before Silicon Valley became a good buzzword, right? This was, we're talking back in the, the mid, mid 80s to, to mid 90s is where I spent a lot of time in Silicon Valley. And, you know, a lot of excitement we're seeing in North Texas has been similar to the, the, the Silicon Valley. You know, Silicon Valley is, is not just the real valley. It includes San Jose and goes all the way up to San Francisco. And those are not technically part, and it even goes across to the East Bay, right? So that's what we're seeing here. So, uh, you know, I, I like to say that that's, and, and by the way, that geographic region is way bigger than Dallas-Fort Worth, than, right, that triangle. But so, so what we have to start thinking about is stop for, start forgetting somehow that, that, that we're independent cities within it because it's, the, it's, it's a case where if one city starts floating up, we're all float up, right? Uh, again, let's go back to ZS Pharma. The company, the company started, it, started in, in actually in Indiana, moved to, to Fort Worth to work with us. From Fort Worth, they moved, moved up to, uh, what is it, Capel? From there, you know, it's thinking of moving back to Fort Worth. So, yeah. but who benefited? All of us, because we're now on a map for for the for the exit and, and for what they've done. So that's a really really interesting perspective to have, and, and I never really thought about it that way too. When you think about Silicon Valley, it is it's the entire region. It's not just San Francisco or just San Jose or just Berkeley or just the East Bay. Like it's all of these other things that play into that whole region. And so we absolutely have that same leverage here in North Texas. So. Thank you. Thank you. What a great much, perspective, Raquel. and thanks for being here with us, and I'll let you continue on with, with all the fun events for this evening. Thanks. So. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Thank you. And you can find out more about the state of entrepreneurship and everything else that's happening in the North Texas area on launchtfw.com.